guys, it's Emery, and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out three different mascaras with the new L'Oreal Lash Paradise base. So, lash primer, basically. I was super excited when I saw this on Instagram. I bought it, like, immediately, like, no hesitation, no nothing, because I love the Lash Paradise mascara so much. And originally, when I was sitting down to film this video, I was just gonna try it out with this one, but then I got really curious. I was like, well, what if I try it out with two? And then I was like, well, what if I try it out with three? So that's, hence, three different mascaras. I guess without further ado, let's get into it. If you haven't figured it out, but now I really love mascara. <laughs> One reason I wanted to try this out besides it's The Lash Paradise is because a lot of times when I wear The Lash Paradise, I wear it with their uh, Voluminous Primer. This is just their, yeah, I think it's just called the Voluminous Primer. And it's just this white, normal looking mascara, I, mascara primer. It's, it's nothing super duper unique. This one, I mean, they look almost the same except for the little band right around the top. That's not the only thing that's pink. The actual formula is like a light pink. The formula seems to be a little bit thicker than this one, which doesn't surprise me. It helps adhere mascara to lashes. Another thing that's really interesting is you're supposed to let this dry before you apply mascara, which normally you're supposed to actually just like put on the primer and then like hurry and start putting on the mascara so it doesn't dry out because it normally messes up the whole process. But this one you're not supposed to, which fascinates me. So I'm gonna see how that goes because you can buy this, these two together on Amazon and I think at Walmart too for pretty cheap for the both of them. And so I wanna see if it's worth buying these separately. Just a side note, I will link all the products I've talked about in the description box below if you're interested. So I'm curious to see what my eyelashes look like when they're pink or if they'll look pink or they'll look white or you won't be able to really see it. It doesn't look pink, it looks white. You can only really see it on like the blonde part of my eyelashes, but it did a good job coating all my lashes. Like I'm not, it's doing a good job so far. Oh, this hair. So I guess I just let it dry. Okay, it's been like a minute and I'm pretty sure it's dry. Feels, it doesn't really feel like there's that, like I can tell that there's something there, but it's not like super stiff or hard. It's still really soft. So we shall see what this does. I'm so excited. I can already tell it looks different, at least I think. <laughs> From my memory of yesterday, it does look a lot different than what it looks like with the other primer on. It seems like it's just a lot thicker. And you... <laughs> you see that? You see what I just did? And you... <laughs> this is why I shouldn't film and put mascara on at the same time. Fine, I'll fix it later. So much volume. So much... <laughs> it's kind of almost too much. Okay, other eye. Oh look, I have food in my teeth. That's wonderful. I wonder if that's been there the whole time. Oh, and I have blueberry all over my hands. Oh my goodness, I'm a mess today. Hot mess. Yep, just threw that on accident. Hot mess. So far, my opinion is I think it's a, that they're both great and the look you're going for is whether you use a primer or not. We're gonna fix this mascara glob now. It's all in my eyebrows. All right, it's been a long day. But what's interesting is I just noticed, I don't know what happened, but this transferred onto my lid, which like never happens. Aside without the primer transferred onto my lid. That's so weird. But both mascaras look pretty much the exact same as they did this morning, like I expected. Um, one note that I have is when I wasn't under the lights and I was in normal lighting, is the mascaras looked pretty similar. You could still see a difference, but it wasn't like, oh my goodness, the size almost too much mascara. Um, so, so far, my opinion is it really depends on the look you're going for. But, like I said, I'll try the primer with this mascara tomorrow. Today's pretty chill makeup day, so <laughs> be interesting to see how this goes. And like I said before, I'm going to be using the primer with the Hello Lashes by It Cosmetics. It's one of my favorites. It has a really bad time transferring. So let's put on the pink. Okay, we'll let that dry. While that's drying, I'll put the It Cosmetics on the other eye that I'm not going to put the primer on. 
One of the reasons I love the A Cosmetics mascara so much is because the formula is like awesome. Like it does a good job, except for the fact it transfers. It has like a little spiky ball at the end of the brush. So you can get like all, every single little, little hair. I just poked myself in the eye. That felt amazing. Just ignore the fact that my eyes are watering. First off, it looks a lot more voluminous, especially at the base. Holy freak. It's like a different mascara. <laughs> Can you guys see a difference? Okay, we'll see what happens. I'm curious to see if it transfers. So the said it's supposed to keep the mascara on. So I feel like the mascara didn't transfer as bad as it normally does. Just without the primer, I will have stripes on my eyelid by the end of the day. Oh, there's still a little bit. There's kind of some right here. And there's none on this side. So I say it does a good job of making sure the mascara doesn't transfer anywhere. Yeah, that so looks good. I think it did a good job. I want to try it with one more mascara though. Okay, you guys. Okay, this is a final mascara that I'm going to try with primer. I thought why not try it with my like most popular mascara video. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna try it with the Brooklyn and Bailey one. See how it does. I'm actually going out in public today. The last two days I've been like kind of doing behind the scenes stuff and not really going out besides like the grocery store. But I'm actually like going out today. It's Saturday. Okay let's get this primer on. So normally with the Brooklyn and Bailey mascara um, I'll do three coats and I've tried it with a couple other primers and some did well and some like some did good with the mascara and some didn't so I'm interested to see how this one does. Okay, I'm gonna apply mascara to this eye. Okay, that's one eye. Let's see what it looks like. I think this is dry. Yeah, it's dry. That's interesting. It's making it look a lot longer than normal. We're not really that much thicker. Like there's a little bit of difference when it comes to thickness, but not by much. That's so funny. Oh, there we go. It's thicker now. I was like, where's the voluminousness? Voluminousness. I can speak English. Okay, three coats on both eyes, one with primer and one without. Let me look at it straight on. Okay, after using this primer thing three times, one thing I've noticed is it does clump your lashes together more than what I normally would prefer that's how you get some of the volume there not all of it but like the lashes on the side without the primer look a little bit more separated that makes sense but I mean it doesn't look bad I think it looks good so we'll see how the formula does I might have just woken up a minute ago I might have fallen asleep watching TV <laughs> it might be one in the morning so I just kind of fell asleep on the side of my face so the mascara got a little bent up on the edge just a little bit but besides that, the primer didn't affect the formula at all and it did a great job. I mean, yeah, it looks basically the same as it did a long time ago. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts on this primer. I like it. I think it does a really good job at what it claims. I am not the hugest fan of how chunky it can kind of get if you're not careful. I thought today, I was like, why don't I just try it without letting it dry first? Just put it on and then put the mascara right on top of it. And I really liked it. It did it did a good job adding a little extra volume and a little extra length, but it also made it so the formula of the mascara was transfer proof, basically. And so I, it kind of makes me like it more that you have more options when it comes to this. You can use it wet or dry, depending on what kind of look you're going for. So it's like more bang for your buck. I really like it. It's not going to be for everyone. It really, really depends on the look you're going for and how much mascara you want to look like you're wearing. So take that into consideration. Look at all the different varieties of mascara I tried it out with. Decide if you want to try it out. I think it's a good product and I think it does what it claims. Like I said before, you can find all of the things I talked about link in the description box. I do get a small percentage on some of the links if you use my link to buy the product, just to let you know. But I think that's it. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to comment down below if you're excited about this new primer. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye!